Hello everyone, James Lasser here, Master Financial Planner, and I want to talk to you about getting started on home ownership. Uh, whether you already own your own home or you're looking to have a piece of the American pie, there are the four C's, get it, the four C's that will allow you to own your own home. Let's get after it. The first C that you need to have that's assessed for you to get a property is credit. They want to make sure that you have proper credit, enough credit, a high enough credit score, uh, which is basically your street credit, right? Does this person have a history of paying back loans or paying back the money that they borrow? right? And there's different kinds of credit that you got to have. So it's not only the length of credit uh, of you having credit, but it's the different types of credit as well as your payment history. If all of those align, then you have a reasonably high credit score, a reasonably high credit score. Now, the average minimum credit score that you need to have to uh, actually obtain a mortgage is going to be a 620. Anything lower than that, you may need a cold borrower or you may just get completely denied. Uh, but since the pandemic, many of the, the, the lenders are requiring a 680 credit score. Were you able to still pay your bills on time while the pandemic and shutdowns and everything was going on? Those are the stronger borrows. So though, obviously those are the folks that are going to get the lines of credit, which brings me to the second C out of the four C's, the second C's is capacity. Does your income and your debt to income ratio allow for you to take on a mortgage? Can you handle that monthly mortgage payment for 30 years, 20 years, or 15 years, preferably, right? Are you able to do that to walk yourself into loaning the amount of money that you need to be able to get a mortgage? Which brings us to the third C, that's cash on hand. Now, your cash on hand is not only, you know, your down payment that you have to provide for, let's say, a FHA loan, which is at 4.5% right now. No, you got to have enough cash uh, to be able to cover not only your down payment for your mortgage, but stuff like appraisals, uh, you know, title insurance and all uh, origination fees and all other kind of things that may or may not pop up inside of the mortgage lending process, which brings us to number four is collateral, right? The collateral inside of a mortgage loan is normally the house, but do you have any other types of collateral? Do you have a 401k, right? Do you have, uh, you know, savings inside of the bank? Do you have a Roth IRA? What assets are you holding on? God forbid you can't make your mortgage payment. What other recourse does the lending company have? These are the four C's that you got to consider before talking to a mortgage broker or even before looking at a home for home purchase. I hope this helps you for all of you who are looking to purchase a home. And I hope this helps all of you for those who are looking to refinance your home right now. Now, if you're in any of those categories, we have resources available at Laster Financial Consultants prepping you for your home ownership or prepping you for your refinances. Hope this helps. Take care, be well. And as we always say, though it may be hard, proper planning makes execution easier.